know, in our lives, there's so many things that um, that we come to God sometimes because of sin and kind of things in our lives that are wrong. We come to God to ask Him to forgive us of those sins. We want to, you know, ask Him to come in and help us with those things in our lives. But when Jesus is talking to the rich man in the, in the parable in the scriptures, it, it's funny because this rich man had a lot going on for him, and, and he said, and he was, and he followed God, and he said to Jesus, "What must I do to have eternal life?" And uh, and Jesus knew his heart. And this man, you know, Jesus goes down the list of things. He lists off five or six things that he's got to do. You know, the Ten Commandment kind of things. And the rich man thought he had it made because he said, I've done all those things my whole life. And he's basically saying, I've been good my whole life. And, uh, and Jesus said, well, there's one more thing. He said, I want you to sell all that you have. I want you to sell it all and then come and give it away. And then come follow me. And that's a scary thought. To, to get rid of everything that you have. Now, don't get me wrong, I don't think Jesus is speaking to us to literally go sell everything that we have and follow him. But he knew what that rich man needed to hear. He knew that that rich man, what his God was, was his possessions and his money. And so tonight, what is it in our lives? What is it that we have to lose? What is it that is in our lives that separates us and keeps us from God? Sometimes it's an addiction. Sometimes it's a memory of uh, a bad situation in church, growing up in church. Sometimes it's, um, you know, could be whatever, a long list of things that we do, you know, kind of the wrong things. Sometimes it's the good things, too, that keep us from God. Sometimes it's our own hopes and dreams. Sometimes it's our own selfish things that we want that it's, it's easy to give God the bad things and let him take that over. It's not always so easy to give God the good things in our lives. Does that make sense? Yeah. And so tonight, we've got to all ask our question, that question, including us on the stage. What do we have to lose? What is it that is keeping us from a, a real relationship with God? Because Jesus said, I've come to this world to give you life, to give it to you abundantly to give you the most amazing, awesome life that you possibly can have. Now, don't get me wrong, it doesn't mean we're not going to have hard times. In fact, Jesus said, when you come after me, when you follow me, he said, you're going to have struggles. You're going to have trials. You're going to have people that don't like what you're doing. You're going to have some opposition to your faith. But he says, through those trials, through those hard times, through those struggles, I will never leave you. I will never forsake you. I will never turn away from you. I will always be there for you. And so uh, we're going to do this next song, and it's a, it's a song of celebration. It's a song for what God has done in our lives for every single one of us. And it's just a matter, it's a matter of, are we going to accept that gift that he has to offer us? I think too often we hold on to things we're afraid to let go of them. Because we, we, we think those things are going to bring us happiness. True joy, true peace, true life, not only eternal life, but true life, true peace, true joy, true love only happens when we let go of everything, the good and the bad. We turn it over to God and say, God, you take control. Let's pray. Lord, we love you. We thank you for this night. Thank you that it's a special night for us, God. We thank you for the great encouragement that uh, our brothers and sisters in the Northeast give us, God. And just pray a blessing upon them. Pray that you would make them bold in their faith. Lord, help us all tonight to let go of the good and the bad and not hand it all over to you. We love you, Lord. We praise you. We lift up the name of Jesus tonight. It's in your name we pray and ask all these things. Amen. Amen.
Yeah.